Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Crazy Craft 2.0 survival season. Back, of course, again at the Salty Shore. It's either the Salty Shore or the Lake of Rage in either of my series. It's really weird. But, of course, back here and we're going to do some really, really cool stuff today. Haven't got a whole bunch planned out, but um, there's one thing that I definitely want to do today and that is... The whole um, soul creatures thing. Now, first off, I do want to apologize. A couple things. My keyboard. I recently had to switch my keyboard for today's episode. I had to switch to a... Um, what's this one called? Black Widow. And it's slightly louder with the clicks. I do apologize. I normally have a... Uh, Deathstalker, I think. Yeah, Deathstalker, which is really, really quiet. Um, but I broke the space bar in a in a mini game that I did with Preston. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the footage for that, but it is on his channel. It was the Wither boss run. Lost my temper a little bit, and I, the space bar was ultimately screwed. So I've had to switch over to this one, and hopefully, I'll be picking up um, a new keyboard tomorrow because this is my brother's keyboard. Well, it was my old one, and I gave it to him, but. Uh, I don't like how loud I am with it. It does. You can hear the clicks, and it honestly it irritates me when I hear um, other people do it. Even though Preston and Kenny and I think a lot of other people actually have this keyboard, I'm just a nub at it. You do get quiet as you go with it. Plus, I think it's me having to do the double tap W. And I'm actually going to try something first right here, right now. And we're going to change the sprint button to something else. And I want to get your suggestions. What is the best um, like button for the sprint? And in before we are in 1.7, 1.6.4, and there is no button to set the sprint. So that's really awkward, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I do want to ask suggestions on what's the better button. I've heard shift is better, but I use that for my shift, so I don't know. But anyway, getting to it, what I want to do today is the soul shard. So we did get those ones from Choco yesterday, and I want to try and do some cool stuff with that. Now, I've worked out how it works, and all Choco gave me the rundown. Um, there's tiers, and you can put them in your spawners, and you can do cool stuff like that, pretty much. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to get a unbound soul shard, and I did see Choco's little setup for it, although I might go back and have a look, because I didn't get the greatest look at it. And honestly, I want to check it again. Uh, now, where was it? I gotta find it. We're in Choco's house right now. And oh my god, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. And if this happens twice in two episodes in a row, I'm gonna feel like a jag. Come on, I can hold it in. Alright, now we're good. We're good, I think. Um, <laughs> his, his house is so expensive, though. I don't know if I'll be, ever be able to find it. Um, ah, it's, it's, a, it's a glowstone pattern. Sorry, it's endstone, nether, nether brick, and um, nether brick, and one more. Uh, let me do... No, slash back again won't work. Nether brick and... No, nether... Nether brick? Nether... Nether... Nether rack. Uh, end stone and... I forget. I think obsidian. I want to say obsidian. I'm going to find it. Uh, Choco, I need to get your pattern. Let me see if he's in the chat. I hope he's in the chat. I don't know. I think he's playing Dota. No. Choco, I need to find the pattern. Or is it? It's got to be somewhere around your house. Please. I was, it was in this dimension where he showed me. He just had it randomly sitting somewhere. I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. But I completely forgot it now. Now I feel like an absolute nub. Um, <laughs> the biggest nub ever. It was near one of his, like, cars, I think. Ah, uh, no. All right. I think it was in this direction, actually, because this is where he's... Oh, okay, that's Jay. That's not Choke. I thought it was Choke. I was like, oh. Uh, how... Do you know... Do you know the pattern? Oh, look at that typing. Ah, it makes so much noise. For... Uh, soul shards. Let's see if Jay can help us. I accidentally can't believe I've done this. It was okay. I think I can actually make it off. Oh, nice hat. Thanks for the hat, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna get the materials anyway. All right, all right. Let what other materials? Uh, materials, um, end stone, uh, nether rack, and what? else. I, I want to say obsidian, but I'm not too sure. And I really hope this keyboard isn't too loud because that would really, really annoy me. So I'm going to go get those materials right now as a sheep. No, I'm not going to do that as a sheep. Um, uh, choco, 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 choco. Uh, wait, I can maybe join the call. And and what else? That's it. Okay. I know I need glowstone though. So let's go get... Actually, I think I'm about right. Um, so let's see. Glowstone. Uh, do I have any endstone or netherrack? That would make it a little easy for me. I don't believe I have any netherrack, so... Okay... Ah, oh, I thought that was netherrack for a second. Alright, we're gonna quickly go to the end, pick up some netherrack, 
And I'm going to get the jump with it. There we go. You jump up much faster that way. Okie doke. Into the nether we go. Just pick up a couple um, blocks of netherrack. And then we have to go to the end. Which I don't know how to get there. Um, that's more than enough netherrack that I need. Uh, there was an end portal somewhere near our house. Uh, do you have end stone, Jay? Do you have end stone? I could really... Oh, look. He's got, he's got, his, he's got his birthday hat on. Boo! I want that hat. I should have put that hat on when, I, when it was my birthday the other day. I should have done that. Um, follow. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There's like things that have end stone. Oh, right. Okay. Where'd he go? Jay? Where did you go? Jay? TPJ. Grr. Oh, okay. Oh, the town. Ooh. Thanks. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we don't have to go to the end. We can just take these ones like cheeky people that we are. Okie doke, and then the pattern is, I believe, what's, uh, wait, let me see if Choco sent me a message, uh, endstone, netherrack, glowstone, diamond, right clicked onto center, okay, there we go, I, I'm good now, thanks Choco for the Skype sirs, <laughs> alright, slash home, okay, let's make this, so we need three, six, eight pieces of endstone on the dot with that one, glowstone in the middle and we're good to go so where should we put our little ritual i think we'll put it out near the duplicated trees makes sense and um, put it out here um so let's see where's enough space it's five wide so that's not going to fit near any of these bad boys um i'll put it might put it on one of my levels of the trees actually i want to start layering this tree to be like some sort of oh that's not what i wanted that is not what i wanted at all and if i feel like when i type it sounds like preston because this is the same keyboard Preston has, um, I, I don't like it, me not fan, alright, so let's do it here, alright, so the pattern goes like so, it's like a diamond like this on the outside, um, okie doke, and we need to put something, put, and this is netherrack, but I need to put that one there, okay, netherrack in the middle, and glowstone, and then what you do is, you grab the diamonds, oh, there's Jay, hey Jay, Hey, dude. Um, we grab some diamonds. Uh, where's our diamonds? Hello. Diamonds. We grabbed a lot last episode, so I'm not too worried about these. And yeah, I was actually wrong. It's not with the blood magic mod, so I was a little confused, but that's not how this works. Um, so let's grab the glowstone. And we'll make a couple of these. So you put it on, and you get a soul shard just like that. And that's the little ritual place. We'll make a couple of these bad boys. You get an unbound stone which you can then use for whatever you want to capture. And uh, yeah, let's start capturing some stuff. So I also want to ask your suggestions, guys, on uh, what we should actually use these things for. Not too sure. I'm going to put my gems in my bag, though. Bag them up. And I've got some eggs in my inventory, so I'm going to throw them in the hoppers. Oh, there's some netherrack. I think Jay gave me that, but I must have missed it. All right, let's not miss this little basketball shot here. Over the fence we go. And in they go. All right, awesome. Okie doke. Now, what should I capture with my thing? So the next thing I kill, it will bind it to that. So I was thinking maybe doing something special like this. I wanted to raise an army of Little Lockie. So if you guys don't know what Little Lockie is, Little Lockie is my prince. Although we haven't had him in a while because of some uh, some issues. Uh, <laughs> some issues. Uh, we uh, are going to spawn him back a little bit. So... This is Little Lockie the second. Uh, no, actually, technically the third. The second died very quickly. This is Little Lockie the se the third. I almost called him the second again. Um, we're going to name him right now because I want him... No, no, we're not going to name him. We'll name the fourth one. <laughs> we'll name the fourth one. Because what we're going to do to this guy is we're going to sacrifice him to the shards. Because I want to make an army of princes. Alright? And maybe I should do the big one, actually. I should probably do the big one. Because that would make sense. Oh, baby, a triple. He just took him right out. Okay, one more. And he's dead. And therefore, this should now be bind to the prince. Okay, awesome. Now, sorry, little Lockie the third, But the next one's coming in later. So then, what you do with the soul shard is we're going to take that to... Oh, wait, let me get some of that. Mobzilla. Uh, can I grab that? Please? I don't like you sitting there. All right. And then, just over. And in. Ah. Oh. In. Ah. Oh. In. <laughs> Please, why you do... I got it in, I got it in, I got it in. Um, oh, I hear some noise. Who is that? 
I don't know. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to... Oh, that warp, which I don't know what it was when we went to the dimension. Okay, I guess we'll just go to any random... Ra uh, blah, 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 blah. Any random ant dimension. Because actually, we're going to take that back a step. We're going to do some random spawners because... What happens is, uh, when you right click the soul shard on any type of spawner, you get 200 charges right then and there. So we're going to use that to our advantage today and uh, get some cheeky spawns. Now, how do you make one of these bad boys again? It was a lot of redstone, which we don't even have enough redstone to do it. So we're going to go over here and duplicate some of this bad boy stuff. Um, we'll take some of, this, uh, uh, some of this glass and start duplicating some redstone. Hopefully you can duplicate a couple more blocks. Um, and that'll give us uh, what we need. Let's put it down. We'll probably get one while we mine this stuff, to be honest. If we're lucky, um, we might get some more redstone because we need a couple more blocks and we should be good. It's eight redstone, one piece of coal. And with that, it'll generate a couple spawners, which we can then use to just pretty much take straight away and uh, put 200 souls into our soul shard, which will give us the ability to... Oh, actually, while this is doing this now we will actually make the spawning cage. So, the soul cage. Uh, yeah, it's just nine iron bars. So, we need some iron bars. Um, there we go. We'll grab that. I don't know if I had some actual iron bars, but these will do. Um, just make... I guess we'll just make one for now. No, we'll make two. We'll make two. Um, that's totally fine. Two empty soul cages, just to make it easy. Um, so that's done and hopefully got some redstone. No, no redstone. Why no redstone? Guys, we need redstone, please. Uh, I'm actually gonna take this because I only want gold glass. I don't want... I don't have the thickened glass got over here. I swear I only put gold glass down, but that's fine. We'll just mine it up and get rid of it so it doesn't happen again. Uh, I'm not sure how the duplicated trees work in terms of rates. Last time when I did the, the crystal one on screen, it did it very, very quickly, but that one's taken a while, so... I'm not too sure. I might try and find another way of spawning, of, ugh, of finding the spawners. Um, I'm just trying to think what's the easiest way to get to a spawner right now. Um, I don't have any left behind. Um, let's just think. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And there's the one that uh, Choker gave me with the snow golem. It's tier 5 as you can see. Um, and the, kill, the, the, the kills actually don't get drained as they spawn, which is something I found out as well. How's that doing out there? That's still only one. Okay, um... Okay, where's my ant nests at, actually? Let's go to this one little ant nest that we always go to for some reason. Um, Nightmare Dimension would probably be best, I guess. Um, there's these ants over here. Oh, they've been taken. No, here we go. Okay, uh, either one of you, spawn one. Go. Come on, give me some ants. Give me some ants, please. Oh, I... What am I kidding? The best thing about having one of these things is I can have ants on demand. All right. Let's grab some ants. Let's go to... What dimension are we going to, guys? Let's go to the rainbow ant dimension or the red ant dimension. Or... Yeah, let's go to the red ant dimension, I guess. Okay. Red ant dimension it is. Oh, yeah, where do you think you're going? We're going to the red ant dimension, buddy. Alrighty. Back in the red ant dimension. So... Oh, we have a little Loki. Whoa, what, what, what? Is that... Is that... No, that's not the real little Loki, is he? He's not the original. No, he's just little Loki. Okay, he's one that I've lost. I think you're Little Lucky. This are you Little Lucky the first? I think you are. I don't know, guys. Let me know which one is this. Is it Little Lucky first, second, or third? Well, he's not third. We killed the third. Honestly, there's so many Little Luckies that they've just they, <laughs> that Little Lucky the second was the one we got from the king, and this guy just shot himself with fire. So we're off to a killer start with Little Lucky the fifth. Um, now this isn't Little Lucky. This is just Lucky. All right, let's, let's just get some establishments here. Um, isn't the greatest amount of spawners in this biome, so I'm a little sketch and etch. Oh, there looks like that's one. Okay, let's get out, shift. I have two hands, put one away. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get some shoal shards, boys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And suck it all dry, suck it all dry. Suck it dry. There we go, okay. Let's just suck it dry and leave as a bird. Suck it dry. Suck it dry. Suck it. Now get out, boys. <laughs> we just pretty much cored that whole thing. And we got 801 charges. So we need two more. And then we'll have a fully charged soul shard. And we can spawn a lot of little lockies. And then that's where we all win. 
Alright, what's in here? This looks interesting. It's like a one by one well. Um, nothing. That's anticlimactic as hell. Um, Alright, keeping moving on. Go try and find two more of these bad boys. And then we'll... Oh, what's this? I don't think... No, they don't seem to spawn them. Um, okay. That's pretty much it for the most part, I guess. Um, on soul shards, spawner blocks. I mean, if we can find another cheeky bee or a... Anything, really. Oh, here we go. These normally have... There we go. This will be enough. All right. One and two. There we go. A tier five prince soul shard. Okay. I'm interested to see how this works. Let's go back home. And with this, how I want it is that I want my tree to be heavily guarded with little lockies. That's the goal of this whole thing. Um, and I think we're honestly, we've pretty much done it. I, I think at least. So let's have two spawners. Oh, I need two. I need two for that. So let's put one in a nice central location about, about here works. Yeah. About here works. Um, or maybe it should be around my house. No, 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 this will work, this will work, uh, I think this will work, I'm not too sure. Because I don't know how they react if they're not, if they're wild. Because technically they're meant to be auto-tamed, but if nothing's spawning them in, then what do they become? Alright, well let's find out. Um, let's spawn one right here. Put the soul shard in. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I'm missing a step here. Um, empty, inactive, and active. Okay, empty soul cage. Okay, so if I put it down. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Um, and then let's put a piece of wood there just for stepping stone. Um, that's so not good. And then I just need a, a button. How convenient. Alrighty. <laughs> And that should, or do I need it to be like on a sort of, oh, hello, you're all, oh, that's really cool. Look, we have little lockies everywhere. Aren't you happy, guys? Look, we got little lockies all over the tree. Yes. Look, it, the first one was a sacrifice, but it was so worth. I don't know if these guys will follow me. Uh-oh. I think they, I think they somehow tamed for me. I think they are. Let's, oh, that has a cool hat. I want it. I want it. Uh-oh. 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 I have an army of little lockies. <laughs> oh my god. Look. We've got an army of little lockies. Oh my god. What do we do? Oh my god. They're so cute and adorable and we have so many of them. I'm not even sure what I should do with them. I, they're going to get in my way so much. I need to do something. Alright guys, I think we're going to wrap this episode up right there, but I really do need to ask you guys, what should I do with all of these little lockies? I don't know. Should I spawn more? I didn't know they'd be auto-tamed to me. I thought they'd just protect the house, but no, they're auto-tamed to me. So I'm going to have to find out what I'm going to do with these guys. I'm going to have to find a home for them. But uh, of course, if you did enjoy this episode of Crazy Craft, be sure to leave a like rating below. It's always great to have your support. And of course, if you do enjoy the series, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. You'll get daily notifications whenever a new video goes live. And uh, yeah, until then, have a great day and I'll see you next time.